Gary, we'll start with this morning's breaking news. Brian Graham's gone to Ross County. What was the thinking in the club allowing him to go? Um, well, the thinking was that he, he wasn't really uh, getting enough games. Um, we felt that uh, it came to the point where really uh, he just needed to, to move on and you, know, you, you thank him for his service and, um, and wish him well for the, for the future. But um, it just wasn't in my in my plans and uh, it was important to let people know that rather than hang around footballers like playing football and uh, for whatever reason um, it wasn't in our plans so it's best that uh, to move on. And if you've been looking to offload him for want of a better word for a little while now presumably you've got a replacement lined up or at least options and, and thoughts on that? Well we brought in a couple of strikers anyway, we're in Dooku and uh, Macalinda. Obviously we're still waiting um, for, which is a saga, for um, Calvin, Calvin's international clearance. Um, and we're waiting for some information that we need from his club in Italy that he was playing for. So he gives us a, another option. Um, so I don't think we're short at the moment, but um, at the same time, we're, we're certainly not we haven't stopped looking, and uh, uh, some interest that we had is 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 not has not disintegrated yet, and uh, a lot of people will be waiting to the last minute um, to to wait and see what happens, and uh, we're we're having to wait for one or two to see what happens. You mentioned Manny Doku there and Liam McAlinden. How have those newest of the new boys settled in? They've all settled in well um, because they're all decent players and um, we've had a, a, a very difficult pre-season in as much as that we've played some very sharp, decent uh, teams. Um, but I feel that we're, we're in a good position now. We're ready to, to go into the Crawley game and uh, give a good account of ourselves. Um, We've done a lot of work in the, in the last two or three weeks. We've, we've got the fitness into them early on. And now we've been doing a lot of sort of tactical work with, with players. There's still a few little niggly little injuries that people have got. Um, but uh, hopefully they'll, they'll recover pretty quick. And those injuries, is that, or how much of that is down to the fact that it's been a really dry, hot summer with baked hard training pitches? Have that caused the odd problem? Um, no, <laughs> it hasn't been. That's been a problem with hydration. We've had to make sure that you know the lads are hydrated and we do that every day and we test them every day and some of the new ones are, um, are clinically dead as far as uh, hydration is concerned. So we're having to uh, educate them into the hydration and how important that is. So they're all into that now. Um, yeah, so I don't. it's not the heat because every injury that we've, we've got was either an injury that people are getting over from the summer or from last season, um, or an injury that has that has happened in uh, in pre-season games. Um, so we're working hard on our injuries. You know, I don't want to say no names or anything because I don't want to let our opponents know who's fit and who's not fit. But um, and they can then second guess your team. So we'll keep that to ourselves for a minute. But. Uh, Obviously, they all will be revealed at two o'clock on uh, on Saturday. And actually, first game of the season, is there more scope for keeping someone guessing? Because most clubs won't really have too much of a clue about which way you're going to go. And, you know, you'll be the same trying to find out stuff about Crawley, I guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're pretty good at getting uh, all the information that we need um, as far as the opposition are concerned. Obviously, it's the same manager that they had last year. I'm sure he hasn't changed his tactics too much um, because he believes in a, in a, in a system and, uh, um, and he'll want to make that system work and you know, we've got to make sure that our system works. And <laughs> So that's, where, that's where, we, where we are. The system definitely worked going forwards last season with the amount of goals you scored, the amount of chances mm. you created. Where are you looking for the improvements this season? Well, exactly what you're in, intimating to. Uh, we've got to stop the goals going in. Um, if we can score the same amount of goals and half the goals that we concede, then we're going to be in the, at least the playoff zone. 
because that, that number of goals gets you into the playoffs generally. But um, we got to make sure that uh, we cut down on goals conceded and that's a whole team responsibility as opposed to just uh, the <coughs> defenders or the goalkeeper. You know, We've got to make sure that as a team we defend well. How important is a good start in terms of the momentum and just you know sort of getting the whole season up and running? Very, very important, of course. Uh, you wouldn't expect me to say anything else. Um, and especially when it's the first game at home and especially when there's some new players. Um, I think people got a decent impression of some of our new lads when we played Walsall at home. Hopefully those people will come back and uh, there's more to come from them new players because they're a little bit fitter. They're a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more confident now. The supporters um, uh, embraced them well on the day. Um, so the new lads are looking forward to it. And hopefully uh, you know, we get, a, we get a, a good few people watching us in a positive way so that we can uh, you know, give our best in a, in a good atmosphere. And do you expect anyone else in before the season starts? Um, well, you never say never. Uh, there's certainly opportunities, so we just we just have to wait and see.